Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and in this video we'll talk about good, bad and ugly of coffee projects on Kickstarter. Crowdsourcing is an excellent way of asking people or your fans, hey, this is my idea, if you like it, give me your money and I will make it happen. It allowed many products and projects to launch and create a profitable business. Thank you, Kickstarter. We also used Kickstarter to fundraise money for our first documentary film, Airpress Movie. If all this happened, we need your help. It's not easy to put together a successful campaign, but it's powerful to see several hundreds or even thousands of supporters trusting you with their money. On the other hand, Kickstarter is not a store. Backers have never a guarantee that they receive what they paid for. Since coffee is a popular topic and theme on Kickstarter, you can browse through over 3,000 coffee-related campaigns. The sad thing is that if you sort them by the most funded projects, which means the most money collected, top three projects which together raise over 2 million US dollars can be considered as failure. They never delivered the product or product wasn't working as promised. Now, let's take a look on three examples of these epic fails, but also to three examples of companies that used the initial success on Kickstarter to turn into the profitable business and respected brand in the specialty coffee industry. The number one is ZPM Espresso Machine. We really like coffee and we can build a much better espresso machine. ZPM Espresso Machine, on Kickstarter known as PID Control Espresso Machine, was successfully funded in January 2012 by 1,546 backers, raising over 369,000 US dollars. Their goal was to create a commercial level espresso machine for home users for only 200 to 300 US dollars. The plan was to use as many off-the-shelf parts as possible to cut the cost down. After three years, in update 57, they officially announced they failed. The New York Times magazine covered the story of the founders from start to finish. Interestingly, one of the angry backers, John Bookman, decided to take the idea into action himself. He found a company called Decent Espresso. Number two is Bonaverde. We build a machine that can not only grind and brew the coffee, but that can also roast the coffee. Berlin-based company Bonaverde was successfully funded in December 2013 by over 2,000 backers, raising over 681,000 US dollars. They wanted to build the world's first roast, grind, brew coffee machine. That's an ambitious goal indeed, and the machine was offered for 300 US dollars. On top of building the machine, they wanted to develop a platform for direct communication between the coffee farmer and coffee drinker. Long story short, in October 2019, Bonaverde announced the bankruptcy. They finished hundreds of products, raised money from several crowdfunding platforms and private investors to the total valuation of 29 million euros in 2017, but the product had several critical mistakes that caused a devastating recall campaign. Number three is Rice Press. The claim of the Rice Press was French Press reinvented, but the truth is that it was about to solve only one big problem of French Press, which is cleaning, by adding a removable bottom part. That is what motivated over 21,000 backers. Yes, 21,000 backers to pledge over 1 million US dollars to Right Press in March 2018. Then you need to count another 1.2 million US dollars raised on Indiegogo. The last update from the company is from June 2019. Many backers haven't seen the product yet and the ones who receive it weren't really satisfied with the quality. Server the Spoon did a good job in summarizing what happened in this probably the biggest coffee fail or even scam on a Kickstarter so far. Now, let's look at the bright side of coffee on Kickstarter. There are amazing products and brands that started on Kickstarter, but keep bringing excellent coffee products to the market. Number one is Fellow. A journey of Fellow started with Jake Miller's first Kickstarter campaign for Duo Coffee Steeper in 2013. He raised almost 200,000 US dollars from almost 3,000 backers. Next Kickstarter campaign was for Stack EKG, the electric pour-over kettle raising over 400,000 US dollars from almost 3,000 backers in 2017. In the meantime, Fellow opened their flagship store and playground in San Francisco and released a series of products for specialty coffee geeks like the Aeropress Extension Prismo or Carter Everywhere Mug. 
The last product that is breaking the records on Kickstarter right now is Earth Brew Grinder that is already big by over 4,000 backers who pledge over 1 million US dollars up to now. Fellow's brand is already globally recognized for their sleek design and well thought user interface. What's more, they prove that they can manufacture and quality control all their products. They effectively work with the community of users they have and they are smart in adding new products their customers wish to have. Number two is Akaya. Akaya was co-founded on Kickstarter in 2013 as minimalist coffee brewing scale with a model that is similar to what we know as Perl now. It raised over 42,000 US dollars from 496 backers, which is relatively modest funding that was enough to officially launch a production model of the White Pearl at SEA Expo in 2014 and won the best new product award. Very soon, Akai scales became the ultimate scales for the specialty coffee community around the world. You could see them at the competitions, behind the bar and mainly on Instagram. In 2015, Akai extended the funding through a series investment from venture capital firm and then it launched Lunar Model for Espresso Brewing but also high-tech coffee daughters. Akai was also involved in the development of products like Barazza Sete, Sanremo Opera or Fellows Tech EKG+. Number three is Goat Story. Slovenian company Goat Story and its founder Andrzej Miklavic launched the first Kickstarter campaign to raise money for Goat Mac, a stylish takeaway cup that convinced over 10,000 backers to raise over 400,000 US dollars. The first product was more about a lifestyle than coffee, but it created a crowd of coffee lovers to market the future product. Next one was Gina Smart Coffee Brewer that raised over half a million US dollars from over 2,000 backers in 2016. It was quickly adapted by several well-known specialty coffee roasters and bars across Europe. One of them was Mame in Zurich, Switzerland. Its co-founder Amy Fukahori later used Gina to win the World Brewers Cup Championship. That was a major proof of her skills but also capabilities of the brewer. Since then, Ghost Story launched their own line of coffee beans as well as the cold brew kit. It is supplied with packets of pre-ground coffee to make preparing cold brew easy for everybody. So thank you guys for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this video and what is your experience with coffee products on Kickstarter? Did you support any of them in the past and was it success or failure? Let us know in the comments and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video very soon. Thank you, bye bye.